What's up YouTube? Joe here. Uh, today we're doing an unboxing of a pretty big tackle order I placed between Tackle Warehouse, Omnia Fishing, and Beast Coast um, over Black Friday and then the few weeks after Black Friday because there were still some good sales going on so I kept buying little things here and there. Um, but most of this stuff, 90% of it was purchased on Black Friday between those three websites. Um, so let's get into it. Let's see what we got. All right, box number one. Got a small little tackle warehouse box here. We got two tackle warehouse boxes and an Omnia box. So let's go. Let's see what's in the small one. Oh yeah, gotta always use the trusty pinch man to open all the Amazon packages I get. All right, box number one. And this stuff is not gonna be in any order. I'm just gonna pull it out of the box as it's put in the box. So I didn't, I might show a few crankbaits here and then a few later and whatever. So here we go. All right, first thing, we got some 3.6 Berkeley flatworms in brown back. Smallmouth staple. These things work, so it's good to have them on the boat. Um, most of this stuff too, before I continue, most of this stuff is stuff I already use, um, just like a restocking. There are a few things which are new to me, which I will point out, um, a few things that I saw that I wanted to try. So, all right, let's continue. Uh, here's one. The SB105, so the Shower Blows 105 from Evergreen. I used the 120, the 125 a lot last season, um, in Bone and Bluegill, I think are the two colors I have. Um, so I wanted something a little bit smaller and the silver mimics the bait fishing around here. Awesome. Like, there's a lot of ale lives around here. Um, especially this past fall, they, there were balls of ale lives in pretty shallow water, just getting slammed by bait fish. Um, excuse me. So I figured that would be a good time to throw that or maybe early spring too. We'll see. But, um, yeah. So these top water smash. The 125 is amazing bait all year round. Uh, so I figured I'd get the small silver one, the 105, see how it goes. All right, all right. So this is the order that was actually from Beast Coast. It was in like an envelope, so I took it out and stuck it in this box. But from Beast Coast, I got, let's see here, compound, sniper, sniper, compound. So I got two baby dozers in 5 eighths, one's in stealth bra. One is in dirt bag, so these are awesome. Uh, they're a little smaller football jig. Got a nice, a nice wide head on it. I don't know if you can see that, but and a thin, pretty thin weed guard. It looks like. Um, but yeah, so those pretty excited to use those. And then I got two open water sniper jigs, which these are like a smallmouth killer. So mainly when I'm fishing for smallmouth with a jig, I'm dragging out deep or at least around rocks, you know, really no weeds. So these don't have a weed guard, which is pretty cool. Um, it's got a nice wide little head, small hook. Uh, these are definitely finesse jigs, but the no weed guard was intriguing. And I've seen the guys at uh, 603 Bass, I think, I think it is, up in New Hampshire, I'm in Mass. So my brother's up in New Hampshire there above me. Uh, they love these jigs. So I figured I'd pick up a few to try. I usually use the Kitech jigs, but I'm trying those. Oh, no, we got one more. Um, this is a half ounce open water sniper. So I got the five eighths and the half ounce. This color is dirt bag also. I know there's a few more mixed in here somewhere, but whatever. Look at these nice. 4.7 Rage Swimmers and KVD Magic. These are my favorite uh, swim jig trailers when I'm throwing like a green pumpkin or a bluegill imitating swim jig or a perch imitating swim jig. This uh, KVD Magic color is awesome for that. Um, I use Kitex, the Kitex uh, Impact Fats sometimes. These seem to last a little, little longer and I feel like they have more body roll to them, which is nice. So you get the nice tail kick and then you also get a little bit of body roll, which I think is nice. So I always have these. I needed a few more packs of them to stock up. So that's what I did. All right. Next, my favorite drop shot bait, not the flatworm, 
This bait crushed it for me last year, this past season. These Stray King Baby Z2. These things are phenomenal. Um, they're elastic, so they last forever. Uh, so I got two packs, so there's only five in each pack. These will last for a long time. Uh, this is just like your standard bait fish profile, a dark gray back, like a pearl belly. Gray glimmer pearl is what, it's the, is what the color's called. I also have these in white, so. But these things for me outperform the flatworm. Hands down, no questions asked. I don't know what, by how many, but I definitely got more bites on those than I did a flatworm. Those things float. And you don't even have to move the rod and that thing still quivers a little bit. It's amazing. Whereas if you don't move the flatworm, it just kind of falls. <clears throat> Excuse me, it kind of falls because it's heavy. So, all right, next is a topwater bait I have never tried before, which I'm pretty excited about. It's the JT-115 from Evergreen, but it is silent. I've never thrown a silent topwater, but there's, there's always some situations where I wish the topwater walking baits I have weren't so loud. Um... So I figured I'd get a silent one to see how it does. You know, before I buy a bunch of them, I figured I'd get one. It's like a ghost green color, which is an awesome color for this area. So see how it does. Pretty excited to try that, though. The water around here, a lot of the water is 8 to 10 foot of visibility. So sometimes a more subtle bait would be the key. And then I got a pack of... Super FC Sniper from Sunline, 18 pound test. I use this um, for braid to leader. I used to use the 17 pound test uh, in Vizex, but this stuff, the 18 pound test, is actually thinner than the 17 pound test in Vizex. So I started using this because it makes the leader knot that much smaller and passed through the guides a little bit better. And I don't use the FG knot, I use the Crazy Alberto knot, so. It's a little thicker. It's still small, a little thicker than the FG. It's still small, but I figure the thinner the better. So that's what I'm going with for leader line when I need heavy leader line. All anyway, right, box number one done. We'll do the second tackle warehouse box. It's a bigger one. Second tackle warehouse box. And on top here, we got these are the Domiki Aircraft. You can see that. Um, I got these in the four inch and the three inch, both in green pumpkin. So apparently, these claws are filled with air. So when you're dragging a football jig, and I mean, these claws just stick straight up like a defensive crawfish, so I figured I'd give them a try. The 4-inch might not even be a bad flipping bait either, never mind just a jig, a jig trailer, but the 3-inch, the small ones are going to be like a finesse jig trailer, like those open water sniper jigs. Um, that will be going on the back of those sometimes. I'm going to try it out and see how they are. never used these before, but they looked interesting, so I figured I'd give them a shot. Alright, we got two here. Some more leader line. So for my eight to six pound leader, I use Tatsu. Shit's expensive, but when you're not using a lot of it and you're just using leader material, I think it's worth it. Especially when you're using eight and six pound test, super thin line. Uh, you want the best line you can get. I think this is probably the best stuff on the market. Um, I've had such good luck with it. I tried the uh, the Seaguar Gold label. I don't know if I got a bad spool or not. That shit was. Garbage. I've heard a lot of the guys, a lot of the cigar pros, like, oh, this is the best. Blah, blah. I broke off so many times with that. A, it's super expensive. It was almost like 20 bucks for a 25 yard spool, or like 16, 17 bucks for a 25 yard spool. And it was trash. Maybe I got a bad spool, but I ain't trying it again. I've had such good luck with this stuff. There's no reason to switch. I would never spool this up on a reel completely. Like, I, I just couldn't see. It's, Spooling a reel with forty dollar line that would that would last like two weeks I would cry, but using you know 15, 20 foot chunks as leader it lasts a while. I go through probably two maybe three spools of the eight pound all season. I really don't use six much, but I have it just in case. There'll be times where I'll use it, but it's not often. 
Whew. Get some more nine. So this is what I spool my rods up with. Or okay, Seagar 15 pounds and Seagar 12 pounds. 12 pounds for crankbaits, 15 goes with uh, spinner baits, swim jigs, and my favorite chatterbaits. So this stuff, it's money. I've had such good luck with it. I have no complaints with it whatsoever. Um, and when you find something that you're happy with and works, there's really no need to change. Especially when it's on sale. Yeah. Oops. And got some scissors. I needed some new scissors, so I figured I'd try these. Cudas, a little bit bigger. I had the small ones, which I hated. They cut well, but it's too small for me. Um, so I went with the bigger size. So hopefully these are good. Hopefully I'm happy with them. One ounce accent spinnerbait, old big, courtesy of Jacob Wheeler, the goat. Um, but these things are awesome. I've had good luck with these, especially when you want a big thump, get it down deep, big one ounce spinnerbait. Sometimes these things are absolute money. And they're so fun to fish, man. The, the thump on these things and then all of a sudden just boom. Right. Another new bait I have not tried yet. The Yamamoto Speed Senko. Is that what it's called? Yeah. The 7 inch Speed Senko. It's got a Senko body uh, with the Speed Worm tail. So, pretty excited to try these. I got two packs of green pumpkin. Figure if I wanted any more color on them, I could dye the tail chartreuse or put a little orange in the front of it or whatever. But I like green pumpkin. You can add your own colors to it if you need to. And it's just an awesome color for the clear waters where I fish around here up north. Got, oh, we got another Beast Coast jig. Uh, this is another 5 8 ounce Baby Dozer and Stealth Midnight. Pretty excited to try those Beast Coast jigs. We got another uh, half ounce Kai Tech football which I've been using these and I love them. So I know those are good. I know those are solid. And then we're gonna get a couple lipless. I got the Booyah one knocker in a perch color. There's so many perch around, yellow perch around up here that it's one of the main forwards. So anything perch imitating is money. Never tried the Booyah one knocker. I always use the Strike King Red Eye Shad or the LV500, but I'm a heavier one. Um, so I'm branching out a little bit, trying a few new things. And then I also got this uh, Depths MS Vibration TG. They had some cool colors. It's three quarter ounce, so it will get a little deeper. And I just wanted to see what the um, the Japan lipless crankbaits were all about. See if they're worth 25 bucks. I don't know. I'm going to try it. The color's pretty cool. It's a nice blue gold color with some flake on it. So we'll see. Be interesting to try it out. Something else I've never fished, a little jackal derricoop. This thing would have crushed it in the fall when the big balls of alewives are just getting smashed on by the smallmouth. So when I saw this, I saw it on uh, Tactical Bassin, I think. So I figured I'd give it a try this year. Um, got the three quarter ounce. So yeah, we'll see. It's just a little minnow bait with a little Colorado blade and tail spinner on the back. So heard good things about these. Chris will find out. Extra skirts. You can always go with extra skirts from Boss. Boss or um, Dirty Jigs. All good stuff. Another Kitech football jig. We got some Owner Stingers ST36s. Uh, these are size fives. These go on like the DT6s, DT8s that I fish a lot. These ST36s are unbelievable. They're awesome, awesome hooks. For the deeper diving crankbaits, I use the owner ST35s. I guess it's technically STY35MF. I don't know. I just call them ST35s, but they're short shank. These things are the best deep diving crankbait hooks I've ever used. They're so sharp. They absolutely stick fish. And they got this 150 degree bend in them that Supposedly helps, but whatever they're doing, it works. You got these in size two. These goes on. These go on the DT 14, 16s, and I think 20s take the same size also.
All right. Um, I think all we have left in this box is my crankbaits. I'm just going to start grabbing them. So my favorite line of crankbaits is the DT series, hands down, no questions asked. Um, and you'll see a theme with the colors. So we got a DT10 in perch. DT14 in perch. DT14 green gizzard shad. DT16 in perch. DT16 in perch. DT20 in green gizzard shad. DT8 in bluegill. DT10 in bluegill. DT14 in perch. DT20 green gizzard shad. DT10 in bluegill. DT16 green gizzard shad. DT6 bluegill. DT6 bluegill. DT8 <gasps> bluegill. DT16 green gizzard shad. And last but not least, DT16 disco shad. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's the disco shad one. Yep, it's got a little yellow down there, a little gray, a little yellow. But uh, I wanted a, another color or two for the DT20s. I really only used two different colors. Um, mainly just the green gizzard chad color for the most part because it smashed. But I wanted some, li something a little different. So I got this. Um, I already have the yellow black back color and the um, big shad color, which I've never thrown. But I have it. Whatever. All right. Pause for an intermission. I gotta put some of this stuff back in the box and we'll grab the last box. All right, final box. This one is from Omnia. I would have bought more stuff from Omnia, but unfortunately they don't have as big a selection as Tackle Warehouse. So I bought everything I could on Omnia. I uh, like Omnia, their shipping is super fast and I feel like it's a newer up and coming business. So I'm trying to show my support. Uh, I think it's a good thing to have multiple tackle, online tackle retailers where you can buy baits that have a good selection of baits. Um, so I try to support them as much as I can. And there's always a discount code to use, which is excellent. But uh, this was with the 20% off uh, Black Friday deal. And I think all the tackle arrow stuff was too. And then for Beast Coast, I used maybe punch fishing or it was either punch fishing or 603 bass um, discount code. But I've used punch fishing's Omnia codes a bunch. So if I didn't use your Beast, Beast, uh, Beast Coast code, dude, I'm sorry, but I've given you enough business. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right, these I'm actually really excited about. Uh, these Berkeley Power Stingers, the Chatterbait Trailers or Slobberknocker Trailer. I got two packs of the uh, Bluegill, HD Bluegill, and the four point, uh, what is it, four and a quarter? Yeah, four and a quarter size. Two packs in the HD Bluegill, and then I got two packs in the Perch, HD Perch. Um, HD Yellow Perch. I think these are going to be awesome on my uh, three quarter ounce ja jackhammer is one of my staple baits almost all year um, so I think those will just add a little bit of color and a little pop a little realism uh, so I think it's gonna be awesome especially with the Berkeley scent you can't go wrong with that Berkeley scent whether it's regular Berkeley scent or max scent I think it all works I've been using Berkeley scents. I think the first bass I ever caught was on a seven inch ribbon tail power bait worm when I was like 11 or 12 years old and ever since then I've been hooked on Berkeley baits and bass fishing so <clears throat> all right what else we got here uh, another pack of flatworms just a color I didn't have goby 3.6 inch 
Another one ounce spinner bait. Uh, this one's a double willow, the uh, old big from Jacob Wheeler that is a Colorado willow. So I got a double willow from uh, Booyah. I think it's Jason Christie, JC Special. Um, both of those guys know what they're doing, so I figured I'd try their spinner baits. Um, then I got these Berkeley Power Stingers. No, those are Power Stingers. This is Berkeley the Champ Swimmer. Uh, and the herring color, a blueback herring. These are going to be awesome for all the ale live lakes around here. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd try those. It'd be good. Good standalone on a jig head. They'll be a good uh, swim jig trailer. So, yeah. I figured I'd give those a shot. There's another color, too. Um, that was out of stock in those. I think they make an HD bluegill and an HD perch, which I'm going to try in those uh, those champ swimmers, too. But they didn't have them in stock at the time, so no bueno. All right, my favorite bait. If you can tell. I didn't buy enough of them. All right. The jackhammers. Let's see what we get here. We got a uh, three-quarter ounce black blue. Hold on. We got half ounce B height delight. Half ounce B height delight. We got three-quarter ounce B height delight. We got three-quarter ounce green pumpkin, which is my money bait, my staple. We got three quarter ounce of green pumpkin again. And we got three quarter ounce of green pumpkin again. And then we got three quarter ounce of black blue again. And then I've got a couple Berkeley Slava Nakas, uh, half ounce. Hopefully they'll be making a three quarter ounce soon. Um, but I got a green pumpkin and a bruised. I have a bunch of the bruised jackhammers too, the bruised color, so I figured I'd try the slobber knocker and bruised and green pumpkin. So we'll see. Excited to try those. Oh, got a couple, uh, nope. A couple OG slims here. Again, that perch color crushes it around here. And then I got that like muted shad color. Um, be a good ale life imitator, good bait fish imitator, but both these colors should do really well up here. So excited to try those. Got a couple packs of the Berkeley Maxent Chicker Craw, the three inch green pumpkin. And then this color is called Yummy. It's like an orange green pumpkin. But these are money on the back of finesse jigs. Um, I used them all last year and they were awesome. I was pretty happy with them. So figured I'd stock up on some more. I mainly just used green pumpkin. I didn't I didn't use this money color or yummy color at all. I figured I'd try it though. Just got a little bit of orange in the in the body, and a, or a lot of orange in the body, and a little bit in the claw. So, Let's see how that works. Got another DT8 in perch color. Ooh, these these Texas tackle split ring pliers are amazing. Uh, I only had one pair, which I was moving between my kayak and my office and it was starting to drive me nuts when I needed it in my office and I'd have to go outside in the kayak and get it and now just get two pairs keep one in the house one in the yak good to go but these things are amazing another contact football jig all right and then I got an outcast chicken hair jig Three quarter ounce. It's the bluegill color. I have one, the three quarter ounce white. Um, I've never thrown it. I, I got it last year. I just never threw it this past season. Um, so hopefully I can throw the hair jigs a little bit and kind of figure out what that bite's about because I've never fished a hair jig. So um, I definitely want to learn how and make sure that it's in my arsenal if I ever need it. And I think I have one more thing left, but let's see. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten packs of Hog Farmer Spunk Shads in the 5.5 inch green pumpkin. 
These are hands down my favorite chatterbait trailer. Um, I use the Zaco maybe early spring and late fall when it's you know all bait fish. Everything's about bait fish, so maybe I, I use the Zaco then to mimic a bait fish a little bit better. Um, but the rest of the year, on a three quarter ounce, getting it a little deeper, even the ounce and a quarter is getting it super deep. Um, these things are money. They, the action on these is amazing. I've caught in so many big fish with these and just crazy numbers with these too. So chatterbait's deadly enough. When you add a trailer like this, highly recommend these. But yeah, these are awesome. So I got 10 packs of them. And you go through them quick because fish destroy them. And they're pretty durable. It's not like that they're not durable, but like any good trailer, you're gonna go through a lot unless it's a last tech. But that's it, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got. So that was about a little over $700 in tackle, including the discounts. That's with, I think, 20% off every site that I, of the three sites I used. So it's a lot of tackle. There'll be a few more random things I'll buy throughout the winter. Um, when I really dig in my tackle and figured everything I need, this was just all stuff I knew I needed um, and a few things I knew I wanted to try. So that's what I did. Black Friday is best time to stock up. You can't beat 20% off, especially when you're spending big bucks. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and leave some comments on what baits you liked, uh, what baits you're interested in using, or a new bait you might be throwing. So talk to you guys soon. Thank you.